Okay, you two, you're gonna come for a video. Yeah, come on over here. I just need you for just a minute. No, no, come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. No, you're gonna come. Hi. I know. I love you, Bay. And I love you, Opal. Come here. Hey, hey, come on. Come on. Come on. Hi, I'm Jeff. This is Opal. And this is Bay, and I'm gonna have a hard time keeping them around, so I'm gonna put one down. But these are my soul cats. They're my soul pets. Mm -mm. And these two cats are twin flames. And uh, they are my buddies. And I love them so much. They're just little kittens right now, just a few months old. And uh, in case you wanna know, they're Burmese kittens. They're like, uh, it's like a temple cat from Burma. They're ancient temple cats and you kind of live in a temple so it's a perfect fit and uh, oh you don't want to hang out huh want to hang out for the video so this is bay and uh, i want to teach you okay okay you go on they 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 were polite enough i took them out of their little nest they were polite enough to come for a little visit and hang out for just a bit i wanted to um talk about soul pets today and uh we can touch on twin flame pets as well uh, my cats are twin flames, and uh, that means they're two comp. They're, they're, they're the same cat. Obviously, there's two cats there, but at the core, there's just one. They're two parts of the same one being, and they came together. Opal came first about a month early, and uh, then Bay came a month after that. And uh, there's an interesting thing. There's a lot of interesting stuff about this video. That Bay. Um, was Shalia's cat when she was just a girl, maybe, you know, nine or 10. And uh, he was there for her for a year or two when she was at her lowest. He came to her to help her through a really hard part of her, her life where her parents were getting divorced and, you know, all this, yeah, that's you. Bay's a good boy. And uh, he, he came for just a couple years and then he died of an unfortunate death. I know that's hard. And um, Shalia, uh, we're both pretty skeptical people. And we called him in. And uh, when we knew it was time to have cats. And he came back. And Shalia said he actually looks the same, barring like a stripe. And he acts the same. It's the same cat, same personality, the same relationship, same cat as before. And um, so I want to teach you how you can because you never need to be without your soul pet and even if it's not your soul pet you really got along you can call a pet pet back in after they die now don't call it in at the day they die and go to the you know the pet store and pick up a pet and be like oh it's bay again that's that makes no logical sense and here is the process by which and here they're having a good old time these two they got a lot of stuff to work out um process is that you there they can reincarnate and after a pet dies it goes into the astral realm or higher and uh it waits there before its next move in life and maybe it waits there until you die maybe it reincarnates again into another situation with another family if that's what you desire for it it's your soul pet so it's going to obey your command because uh you are higher in the hierarchy of uh, creation so it is obedient to you even though you can't tell a cat what to do you can invite uh, and they can say yes or no and they finally said yes uh, they said no for many years and finally they, they said yes they're little princess cats i love my cats I, I do and i love my dog too he's not here but he's also my soul pet and no matter what kind of pet most people have cats and dogs it's pretty common some people have birds you can have horses uh, that's, you know, pretty usual stuff. Uh, once in a while you can have little oddities, but mainly cats, dogs, birds, horses, all that. Uh, it doesn't matter the breed, but here's the deal. When your pet dies, you can call them back in. And you do it in your heart, and you can do a little ceremony if you want, and you can make that decision, you can call them in. And you're going to, uh, either they're going to come to you naturally, you can work with a breeder, you can work with uh, a shelter, you can just keep your eyes and ears open for, uh, you know, a new puppy or kitten that makes sense in the timeline, give them enough time to be dead, 
and to be reborn again. Look at the gestation periods if you're that anxious. Give them time. It's okay for them to take a break from you and have a new cycle. But they will come back. And that's going to be the same, same animal. And uh, if I look at my dog, Charlie, he's a different dog, like, every year. <laughs> he grows and changes so much. First, he was the happy, playful puppy who wants to run and romp around. And now he's more chill. He's like grandpa dog. And uh, it's not about their their energy level. It's not about what they're interested in. It's not about how they treat you. That all It all changes. But at the core, the soul is the same. And the soul-to-soul -soul relationship is the same. So your beloved pet you've had for 15 years. And even if they've been dead for 15 years, you can call them back in. It's very easy. And uh, it's just a decision you make to invite them. And you can't possibly not have them. There were some challenges with Bay. We got Opal and it was hard, uh, but Bay was a whole other story. Uh, the breeder was really, really difficult to deal with. And on the day, finally, that Bay was supposed to come, we already had Opal, she calls us an hour before she's supposed to deliver Bay and says, I'm really sorry, I'm gonna keep the cat to breed it because it's so beautiful. Maybe I can, excuse me, get you on a wait list for the next cat. And we're like, oh no, no ma'am, this is our cat. And I chewed her out. And she was very firm that she was going to keep the cat and she had every right to. She's the breeder. It's in the contract. Uh, I made it clear that this is my cat. I do not in any way agree with what she's doing. And I claimed my cat completely. And I said, I'm going to do whatever it takes. I'll drive over to your house and pick up the cat myself if that's what we need. But that's my cat. I don't agree. And when usually someone approaches me, like, I have the power, I'm going to do what I want, and I'm going to keep your good thing, they usually do. <laughs> what was going to stop her from keeping my cat? Well, everything. Uh, the divine moved mountains to bring Bay home to us. And she drove over and brought the cat, and he kept the cat. And she wasn't happy about it. She didn't want in any way to give me the cat because he's so gorgeous. And he'd make an excellent breeding cat. I, she had every reason to want to keep him. But it's my cat. This is my soul pet. And uh, heaven and earth uh, moved to bring him to me. And uh, nothing can stop you from being with your beloved soul pets. And it's heaven. It's heaven having these cats around. They're beautiful. And they bring me so much joy. And I never need to be apart from them. And there might be a time when they go on death vacation for a few months. Uh, and then we'll call him back in again, and again, and again, and again. I'm never going to be without him. I'm always going to have my soul pets around. Um, so you can call them back in. And don't try to call them in if you're not ready. They might not come. And uh, if you are ready, don't, uh, don't, don't be afraid. <laughs> we play in here. Don't be afraid of uh, hearing the call. So um, I hope this has been a helpful video. Uh, we can talk more about this subject if you'd like, and let me know in the comments. And uh, make sure you hit that like and, and subscribe button and share the video if uh, this was helpful to you. So thanks so much for joining. Uh, we'll see you in more videos. Take care.